P1, Udi means be careful here. Not on it. Get back on it. Find the blind fire as well. He finds it. Answer reload. Both. Both reload. Who's the quick one? Udi with the four K. The, the boat. And uh, they get the win. So that's, what's that now? that's four in a row here. As CO takes now off screen as well. Vex going to take down the zoo. And JFT feeling it. Vex grabs it. Uh, that leaderboard does well for the position there. They covered the fraggers and they're doing it quite well. Howie Wally, Mizzou as well, getting busy. See what Mizzou can do here at short. Get the kick coming through here, puts down North, puts down CO. Obviously, Howie, Mizzou playing pretty well. Um, you want to play? Let's still, let's still play. Game. Actually, kind of hilarious, actually. <laughs> oh, Howie the being reliable on that. Yeah, the win that they probably deserve after the first two maps. Yeah, but you got to capitalize and secure everything else. How he wants to get on out of there. It swings around and what a good shot. He got gets oh the double. Oh Curse to go through as well. Curse, obviously not playing as great as what he'd like to be. Obviously, we still talk about, you know, the little things. You know, good oh, movement. Oh, Vex oh, taking down. Howie oh, comes oh, in with an oh, oh. Well, that's, you know, yeah, the main... 30 seconds left. We'll wait to see how One this round remaining. goes out. Blind fire coming through. Udin's going to dash out here, he's going to be chased by CO, the footstep gives it away, he finds one, he finds two, the 1v1, this is it, this is for all the marbles, ooh, up to Haz right now, match point here, but he doesn't get it, Wally will take this away, and Steve, we're going to game number five. <laughs>
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It has been four hours now. We are in game number five of the LPL Summer Cup Evolution Grand Finals. Game number five. There's not much more to say. It's been an epic series. If you're just tuning in on in, go back and watch the VOD because... Actually, maybe skip the first match. Go back and watch the VOD from the second match onwards. It has been a cracking series. Wow. Most definitely. Don't, don't worry about the first match. That was just, uh, this, this was playing, playing Koi with... G, uh, JFT, and um, yeah, the, everything else from that has just been superb. It's just been fantastic to see these two teams go at it. You know, the two top teams fighting it out for the grand prize of uh, being the Evo um, grand winner as well, and obviously free, I think it's free entry into uh, the next. Select your agent. Uh, is, is it Challenger? Pretty sure it is. Next one up from Evo. The next one is Legends, and I think that it, that's an invite only tool. Leave. Invite so, only. I yep. believe if they do finish first and the like the last place teams in the legends would be derelegate uh derelegated downwards. So they would put themselves in that spot to be invited in the highest tier of oceanic tournament that there is Whoa. currently. Not bad as we see the agents piece coming through here, so looking a little bit like we did on that map three where trying it just came out of the blocks firing. Not looking too bad here, so obviously on go, go, on go. defense first on fracture here, oh, so no. oh, oh, oh. we get a game crash I'm coming in. We we're on potentially the go, agent go, go. that turned the series around for Trident. Yeah, definitely did. Mizzou played absolutely phenomenal. I think about 26 to 28 kills on Neon in that map. I reckon it was just absolutely phenomenal play. Um, I mean, it wasn't even just Wally, the kills as well, because yeah. I mean, he was just creating so much space by running, and people were trying to track and keep an eye on him, and he's just, you lose track of him, and then the I'll rest of the team it. killed him. Really opening up for his team to come and support him as well, as he was just driving around like a crazy man in a Ferrari, just, you know, but he jump shot and everyone and sliding and creating all sorts of havoc that, you know, the Agent Neon can do because it's so fancy free with the movement, so. The timer there. still keeps on coming down. I think we're good. Yes, yeah, so Tech Force. Over, we get into it. So you're going to be pushing out here as well. We've seen from Trident do so much as well. We're going to get taken down, and the trades will go the way of JFT. Although Udium finally land that second shot and get the kill. Pull the force back out here, gets on the site here, finds another one. That's a nice double here, and we get back to a 2v2. It's almost written in the script the whole time here for these uh, two teams here. 3v3, 2v2. Well placed timing here from Howie. Can you get back onto it? Right Jump there. peak coming through. Support coming now from his teammate, Cursed. They managed to hold off onto the site there and get the defuse. So Trident will win a pistol round. How good is that? You didn't did real well there. I mean, you, they lost Mazong really early on in that stage from a very aggressive push, but Udium didn't falter. He didn't retreat. He stood there and fought for like these teams were. Being able to pick up that two, relocate, and then try and take a challenge back at B site, opened it up, it slowed their opponents okay. down. And then Howie, the kind of trigger finger, well not trigger finger, but uh, keeping his finger off the trigger, superior like he let his opponents get Let's wide out of the open before he swung fought and done a lot of damage so good consistency there from trident and good nerves because if they any one of them had cracked or backed out of that was a round that was going to be in favor of jft that's it you know we talk about you know the trigger discipline as well we shoot your shot too quick uh nine times out of ten you know the nerves go in yeah you know overcompensate and miss quite a bit here is the Entry here coming in through here, but Trident in good positions here all over around that site here to deny it. 
Okay, it does come through here though. We do have Udium though. Gets a shot on there. It's going to be a body shot. We're going to come through. We're going to get dealt with straight away. We has actually. One enemy remaining. And now last enemy will be the Astro CEO. Be a sheriff off in a minute. He says, yeah, come on, mate. Let's go. <laughs> Show me what you got. And he's like, that's not fair. I thought it was 1v1. You didn't come around the corner there. We'll find the headshot. And try it off to the good start that they need to put the pressure on. Obviously, JFT doing quite well. In the previous map, almost looked like they were set. That works. Take it from... The boys on Trident, Trident steady the ship, managed to grab that in a third overtime if you just joined us. It is now two maps apiece here, this is the final map, we are not continuing after this, me and DS have had enough. We've said it in map five, that's it, that's all we're casting, that's all we've been paid to do. We're not going any more overtime this year as well, so that's it, we find a winner, or that's it, it's a draw. Oh, now you've said that, we're going to like 17 round overtime, or 17 apiece. Welcome to map number seven of the grand final, hope you guys have enjoyed it. <laughs> As one starts off strong and cursed to finish it, so the one two taking down JFT and this is their buy round, so losing that first player straight off the bat, that is devastating for JFT, and that's not the way you want to start this game. You lose your pistol round, you're starting to lose your buy round. They're starting to they're regathering their thoughts, they're regathering their position, and now they're gonna start the push over to A, but this is gonna be one of the longest and slowest pushes probably of the series because they are the nerves. It's going to be sending now. It wasn't sending at the start for JFT, but right now, they're a bag full of them. Well, they've got to stick close together here as well. They don't lose too many of their rifles. Also, the gun oh, advantage yeah. is in favor of JFT. Obviously, only one Vandal in the hands of Mizzou here. Curse needs to be spot on here. I wouldn't mind seeing him do an early molly as well if he does make contact just to hold that bush, which he will. He holds off on him too. He wasn't going to hold off for too much longer if they get into sight here. Would be good. Has to deal with the crazy bot there doing the bloody Tokyo drift finding him. <laughs> Support starting to come here now through from Trident. 25 seconds to go, so we'll be confirmed onto that A site. Mizzou coming through here. Kurt holding Lomo finds one. Traded straight away. Theo trying to find the headshot. He finds one. Can't find the second. Trades one through the front center again. 2v2. Udium good to get the final kills there. And the bonus play by Trident. Very well done. JFT will be a little bit happy there that they do take down three. Have to rebuy armor, util, spent, and also weaponry. Oh, that but, uh, overall, tried and happy with the 3 0 start here for map number five. JFT, they were making their way. They lost players early. They didn't have the util to make it onto the A site. And they all funneled through a singular choke point that was locked down from smokes, molotovs, and then multiple angles firing on top of it. It was just. It was negative after negative after negative. Unfortunately, four or five negatives do not make a positive, and they ended up falling there. And now they're going to be trying again. This time on the B site. How is be trying to walk onto this mass on dance around with an opening frag and how he's going to try and slow this down a little bit with a flash not going to find anyone yet as they start to go into unders they're looking for more they're trying exactly to shake things up are. but at the moment the only thing shaking is them see they haven't played it too well here it's still going to be a 4v4 play style Where's at the moment here we're we going to try to go through here Watching a site smoke. pretty much clear no one on site curse here is going to need to try and get to squeaky excuses to go the other way instead Ollie comes through as well to try and halt the uh, two out of force coming in from Udium is going to be pretty huge here. The Molly down as well. Also combated with a slow from the two out of force. Lomo good for one here, takes a ton of damage though. So his teammates are going to go back towards that B site. So selling the candy pretty well here. Lomo still needs to survive if he can. A very, very tricky spot. Even the jump peak or even the shoulder spells death to him as well. He unfortunately misses there on that one. He's still being a pain in the ass here, but the smoke does go down. And Howie confirms the kill there now. Has is going to be in a good position here. Going to be on the tour to force though. Udium, good with the peak there, gets the kill. Unfortunately, has had to waste a bit more time. And the amount of time that was like shaved off the clock over the A site, there could have been the spike down a bit earlier. Could have maybe relieved a little bit of pressure from Paul Lomu. And then when they did eventually try to rotate someone over, you had uh, Wally already looking behind him and cleaned up that rotation, not allowing that to happen. So, again, it seems like they were unsure what to do. And when you're in that scenario where your opponents are kind of locked down, you controlling the set, and you don't have anyone being out of your, hey, this is what needs to happen, this is what has to happen now, maybe they're not thinking as fast because 
We're four hours into the series. It is 11 p.m. on the East Coast of Australia. It's there. later if you're in New Zealand. Add two hours. It's a little bit earlier for elsewhere, but it is a late night. It's a long night. Fatigue is setting in, and you can see it on JFT. Here we go. Start to see the silly crouching head to head. Dirty as well, and Mizzou goes crazy with the Emperor's Alpha Team Fingers. Spirit Spike Fingers down, of Electricity does the job there, and four players go down like Dominoes, and Trident will circle around that bomb like a boa constrictor, not giving up an inch. And it all comes down to Noor. What can he do? Probably will be a save coming through here because the money's not looking too good here in the bank for JFT. Maybe sneak up. Maybe get an exit, maybe frag or two if you can try to get it. But uh, ultimately, good round here for Trident. Necessary to secure their fifth round. And a steady, slippery slope for JFT to try and climb back up. And it looks like Newell, he wants to go for it. Um, I probably agree with you. Looks looked probably better to save the weapons. They have something. He's been swerved out. The flash comes on in. It's a good little coordination that you spot. You counter their attack. And he knows where two knows. players is. <laughs> he knows where two players is, but that's only going to be so much. Ooh! One way to start. Hello. Can you get the second one? Oh, almost no, does. <laughs> for, a, for a second there, my heart rate was uh, starting to get up uh, the beats per minute. I was thinking, he's going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. I mean, he was doing a nice little wide swing. He was isolated each of the targets. It was definitely on the table. But again, fatigue and and, and also a very difficult situation. First and foremost, unfortunate trying to take a bit of a long fight with the uh, the Phantom too. Again, yeah. Also, the Vandal as well with a tap to the head as well, confirmed the kills pretty quickly and. He did quite well with the util there, using these cages and the camera as well. I mean, the camera came straight on and he's tagged bloody, uh, what was it, Wally straight away. I was like, oh, he knows. <laughs> so, not a bad effort. Took down uh, took down one, so that's uh, better than none. So this As we get into the next round, so round six. Trident it happy in a good spot here with five. What can JFT do now, DS? Can well, they... it looks like they're trying Maybe... something different. This time, they're not grouping up. They're not doing a kind of a split onto a single site. Everyone I think you need everywhere. to play a bit unorthodox just to unsettle the boat of Trident a little bit. And that looks like exactly what they're trying to do here. They're trying to go for maybe a little bit of a peek around the map, go for maybe a one-on-one -on -one engagement, because so far in the series, I would say one-on-ones, JFT have usually come out on top. Maybe about a 60-40%, 65-35%. They've usually been better in one-on-one -on -one challenges, and they've shown it time and time again how good they are. There. But Trident... They've got the momentum, they've got the strength, and they're playing real good buddy system ever since like uh, map two, you are uh, what, second it. half of map two onwards. They've just been so strong, now the Rolling Thunder's gonna come on through, it's gonna hit multiple targets, can they find the kills though? They're now swarming onto site, Sierra gets one, I can't find anyone worth looking at at the moment, it's still trying to hunt us all. It's gonna be pushing on 40, that's probably one's gonna be for the next one, he's spraying, he gets it, there's so many kills, we got the nice little explosives being shot, it shoots, it scores, next gets it, 1v1 and finally, JFT, get a point on the board. What the hell were we just watching there, as chaotic as... It was just utility. Oh my god, we have Mizzou going in there, just like driving his Ferrari in there, sliding, headshotting people as well. Got a care in the world, and the bloody showstopper coming in from Vex as well, right and there. the fadeaway. Oh my god, chaotic. But maybe it's sort of the chaos that JFT might need to play a little bit more often as well. Like a really good uh, B execute, right also going unders as well, getting it from two sides of the map as well, and really making the defense work different angles as well. Made to. Also, be more proactive um, in JFT, but uh, they get it done, they get it once. So That's the first round on the board from map five, and uh, we'd like to see a bit more of that coming up from them. A the different angle now being attacked from JFT. They're coming through a different lo location onto the A site. Going to be isolating Trident all the way into mid. They're going to come on in, they're spraying, they're trying to paint shells, they're using the utility, holding the back. Wall, he's trying to swing around the corner, he's trying to open it up for his team. Come inside, he's losing team attack to the side though, because he's not in front of them to shield him to find those kills. Vex hiding into the cage. 11 hit points and a dream. The dream is to try and get another round win on the board for his team. And now we've got a first one coming out. It doesn't land. Vex coming out to find the kill. But first gets the return frag. Nor returns the return frag. Now Unium's looking for it. But everyone on JFT get a piece of the pie. And they share round number two together. 
We'll see much better coming in there from JFT at the start to clear it a little bit here. Obviously, Fracture is a real a real map where you can get some really good angles as well as long as you come from the site from different angles. If you come from the one site, you really restrict your movement and your ability to really, you know, make the defense try and figure out where you're coming from. You know, there's lots of angles to cover from uh, from either site. So it's really good to see him on that B site, get the execute coming from both sides. Uh, unfortunately, they do manage to get onto the A site at that time and hold it uh, in coming from the same angle. But we're going to see multiple angles coming in here from this A. So we'll see Dish push. We'll see A main pushed. Uh, so we're up to Cursed here to also make first contact. And is he going to be able to get out alive? Will he be able to grab a kill first up? Or what's going to happen? Because the majority of Trident, I think it's going to be a B push. We'll see with that Viper wall coming down as a fake. And poor Cursed is always down. left alone at the moment to try and do something against his opponents. And usually he slows it down enough with his util, and that's what he's actually doing again. He almost gets killed this time. The Frenzy aren't able to find that kill. It's uh, a lot better at that close range than what it is at that distance. And now the walls are on up. The sp uh, they've got to be pushing on in. Boom. Faking the wall utilization. And the able to uh, navigate away from up on top of that ramp. And there's just things going all over the place again. Trying to find a camera. Why is there too much going on? It's, well, try yeah, to tell you what, it's just a good old fashioned boys in the yard having a scrap, having a dog fight. You don't know which way to look. You get oh. a camera angle of the POV, they die, you get another one, they die as well. It's just absolutely chaotic firefight for the it's site. Like a faster action than Quake. Come on, guys. <laughs> it's going bang, bang, thank you, man. And it's all <laughs> done before you can even take stock of what just happened. Right there. But uh, like I said, you know, JFT, that's probably maybe the chaos that they want to try to eat into a little bit more here. Obviously, you know, Trident playing a little bit more of a, you know, decent, sophisticated sort of setup for the sites as well to sort of stop the attackers from coming in so easy as well. But, I mean, if you get in there enough, with enough force, enough speed as well and chaos, uh, anything can happen. You see the fight coming through here. So, you guys need to sort of back off here. Mizzou, though, I'll see with that Neon movement, just wants to keep on pushing. The stun's coming through. You can't find the headshot with the one shot that he had. One shot, one opportunity. Take it or lose it. Eminem, I love you. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> Next though, with a good shot here. Yudi is looking down. Noor has creeps onto the site. Gets that kill for free here. Wally though, with tons of damage. In that there judge, can he be let loose here? Spike planted. Hasn't been cleared at Nest here. Has is just going to be absolutely bombarded. One enemy remaining. And Emperor with Palpatine also ripping through <laughs> there with the spirit fingers, and that should be an easy bomb defuse here. No lineups really. It's going to be a straight fire. It's going to be enough to get Wally off the bomb. Emperor Palpatine just being harassing here at AMA and doesn't really need to get the kill, just needs to waste more time. Gets the kill in the end, 3k from Mizzou. And like the Dark Force, go, go, go. it can do wonders if you dive into the hate and fear. I don't know where I was leaving with that, I've got lost in the end, but oh, you know what I mean. Spirit Fingers, like you said, you know, we didn't see it much when Mizzou was doing it. You know, we got two, three kills there, but that was decent enough there to be mention worthy. So keep pushing that player out of A main to get the bomb defused. I think this is the seven. first time we've seen uh, Udium and Nazong both really pop off for Trident. And they're just they're smashing their opponents into the there. ground right now. And they've got Wally not too far behind. It's just so much yeah, pressure what's, being applied by the players. How are we doing players. on the bottom? What's going on there? <laughs> how he's taking a break? I mean, he's always been left alone to the A site to be like the uh, the bait. He's just dangled in front of his opponents in and the, in the rest of the team like, lamb. Ooh, hello. It's like that poor lamb in Jurassic Park where you just throw out and then T-Rex comes along. Except <laughs> T-Rex is the, his team, so they eat him and then they eat everyone else. That's it. Where, where did the goat go? Where, where did Harry go? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you where Mizzou went. He went the wrong way there. He went up the wrong way of the expressway and had to turn back. Kill though. The fight though going out off site here is absolutely fantastic. And again, we're down, back down to a 2v2. The trade's going through left, right, and center. Very hard to call. They're going through very chaotically. I think it's how JFT seem to be playing as well. They don't really want to take the fights too much on the site. They prefer to allow, try to push out, try and punish as much as they can, work the trades out in their favor, and then it gets tried and, you know, sort of isolated like we see right now. You know, Wall is on one site. You find, you know, Udium on the other side as well to try to figure out where this team of two is going. So now it's up to Wally left. to be said fast here. 30 you seconds to left. Util starts coming through. Teammate's going to start coming through. So Wally's actually going to do the right thing here. Won't engage. Wait for backup. 
playing it quite well here. Is that she going through at a good point here? Can he find it? No, he can't. So he's going to be good to go underneath that firing firing line. It's all going to be up to UDM here. The top bragger here, 12v5. And 8. It's in a bit of a tricky spot here. I think it's going to be definitely an A main look. If they peek through. Concussion comes through. Doesn't get him. Jump peek going to be spotted. He's seen one. Who's going to come through? I'd like to see a double peek here, but they don't need to. They need to waste time. CEO gets it in the end with the 4k. And attackers win the round. JFT. Be lucky to grab that one here. It does force the hand here of Trident. They do buy up as well. Need to win it. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty much a close end of the first half here. Obviously, Trident. Good rounds in the bank early, but JFT is slowly calling the rounds back. Oh man, it's just, <laughs> it's getting very hard to call these fights because you, you mentioned it uh, through that match, it's just, it's a slugfest, they're trading time and time again, and it, it's whoever's the last man standing onto site, it's a, it's like a treadmill of lemmings, one after the other, after the other, just keeps dying until there's one left, and as long as I start this one up, but how long can he stay for, because <laughs> statistically, he'll probably be the next one to die, but he's grabbed a lot of position over on his ace hack, protecting it up, he's now going to hold it as JFT are now getting ready to execute onto the A site. They have got plenty of utility. The uh, Aftershock's going to try and push out one from it and any rotations come from that center part and Mazong actually breaks the uh, trend. He finds himself two. He's looking for a third. Can he get it? He can't spray through and find it. But what he has done is open up the rest of the map for the rest of his team to come on in and chase down this poor JFT side which have just been sandwiched harder than, well, a ham sandwich on a sandwich press. Last round in the half. <laughs> that, that, they would press harder than the toasties in a toasty mug. I tell you what, eh? <laughs> that, that was absolutely savage. It was just like watching a predator movie and the humans just being hunted by a predator. I mean, it started with Missouri, got the picket uh, dish as well, came back on site, oh, did the right nice thing, one. and stayed on site, didn't push out, didn't hunt for it too much. But once he got the info, the squeaky was open, he was able to push out that A main, grab the back as well, be annoying. And then it was, I think it was Lemu on oh, yes on Viper as well was he was terrified yeah, to go anywhere he was stuck life. underneath uh, basically the drop with the, uh, the uh, rockets as well and they were just absolutely set upon them. Mizzou they're going to get taken down by Vex so that's the site open here so JFT looking for a good chance to go through for a win here on this map if they get site it's up to try it now to do the retake with only four members. They're trying to get on in, and this huge push of JFT coming on down. They're going to be able to find themselves onto Howie's. They're pushing away from the site. They might be trying to break it open. Whoa, he's looking. He finds one. He's looking for the next one. Another showstop comes on out, and he gets himself, and he's out in, in the enemy. That's not what he wants to No, he gets the one. He looks for the second one. He can't get it. It's going to be up to Haz. Haz gets a nice little aftershock on. Uh, so the fault line to slow that one down and daze him a little bit. He's going to get the blind. If he hears that defuse, he's going to get ready for the blind. He's just playing it. He needs to hold. On. He doesn't need to do anything ridiculous right now. The longer it's there, the more chance has of winning the fourth round. He's done enough. They've done enough. They've secured round four. Half two coming up now. Oh my. Switching sides. Yeah, that's exactly what they needed. Four plays eight. Out of charge. Actually tried it. We're after a very good start there, winning five rounds. Then losing two, grabbing back two, losing one, one, one. And just like that, you know, you get to a 4-8, even in competitive as well, it's a very good starting point to get. If obviously you can win the first two pistol rounds, you're back within two. Unfortunately, it goes goes vice versa the other way, you know, if Trident can win it, they're on 10, they only need three more rounds as well to confirm it. And basically do the reverse sweep of losing two two maps in a row, winning the, the third map, winning the fourth one in overtime, courtesy of Wally -E and absolute balls of steel on B site on Haven. As we see Viper just obviously praying that they can actually win this series after being two two maps up as we check out this Viper's bit. That's a beautiful lineup. I don't know where it's gonna, gonna go, but uh, it's gonna be annoying, but Vex though. Paint shells. Classic <laughs> kill and the paint shells. Here we with the tray, the jump here from Vex here. Huge A. confidence for him. Picks up. Okay. He goes. Confirm that the kill come around as well. 4k for Vex, honorable mention on that round, and they win the pistol round. Should get them to six rounds. There. And that'll only be two away this round. That's something cheeky from comes out from Trident. 
I'm I'm losing words to say, Swoop Steve. It's uh, it's I'm been running out of vocabulary and <laughs> and brain power right now. I've I've been up since six a.m. Guys, like no, actually, <laughs> six a.m. overtime at work, and then you give me a five mapper going over go four hours now. Oh, jeez. Oh, I, I'm in the same position. I think I was up at it's six because our newborn baby's just going right off, and I'm like, oh, okay, I've got this. Don't worry, wife. And then <laughs> been up ever since. You know, I should learn like, to take I need naps. A, I need to have good sleep before there. I get the grand final. Baby's like, <laughs> hold my bottle. <laughs> and see the exit coming from through Muscle. from it's, Trident. Yeah, Mazel's just smashing out, trying to get as much space on the field as possible. He's oh, all the still trying. They can't find any kills. He does a lot of damage. Has is going to have time for something. Vex comes in from behind. Hits is still. Beauty and all alone. And oh, that was the conversion round that JFT desperately needed. That is what we like to call the old train of death. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I like to quote the good old guy on uh, on uh, on Facebook. He is sometimes good, sometimes a shit. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, unfortunately, I can't even grab a kill in that round. And now they're within two of striking range from JFT. Timeout comes from the side of Trident as they try and figure out the strategy of the second half. Where it's all the chocolates to play for. We don't go to a sixth map. This is it. We are done after we find a winner on this map, DS. And still very hard to decide who that will be. Obviously, you'd probably say Trident out in front by two as well. But, I mean, anything can happen mm -hmm. in a game of Valorant. We know it. We've seen it. I'm just keen to see who comes in on top. Yeah, and speaking of coming out on top, it's going to be a crucial round if Tridents want to continue the lead to be able to come out on top because they're going to start getting some of this firepower from running. They've got these big weapons, but one of the big things about Fracture is there's so many medium to short range angles on this map, which the Spectre excels out. And, well, unless you play a really slow game and you hope that JFT takes an overstep from their mark, it's going to be really hard to say that you're hugely in favor of you trying to do in this round because they got the weapons. Because JFT, that's still going to be scary. Scary. Uh, these two teams' middle name, I swear to God, is just absolutely crazy stuff. YouTube oh, Galore coming yeah. through. Trident losing a member early. JFT now with the advantage. As we said, they're going to be playing bonus. So, gun advantage. Should go to try them here, but unfortunately, never down already. We'll see how this one plays out. Obviously, being defended here on the A site makes them think twice. As we see, uh, JFT having a little conversation. Do I blind now? Do I blind later? He says, No, hold it, man. Hold it. <laughs> they might not be here, but they are here. And they're playing a slow one here. How he leading the way for his team. Little jiggle pick coming out here from Noor. And that fault line will start coming through here. The entry. It's just so and much that utility. one play is devastating, along with the tripwire. They're all going to be caught. Vex here oh, with oh, a oh, kill remaining. through the smoke. Paint shield's coming through as well. Wall is not having a good time. He's going to be forced back here to try and recess his options. One versus four. I mean, the two other members for JFT are just like, left. yeah, we're just chilling on the other side. If he comes here, he comes here. We'll let you know. Wally, 25 seconds. A mountain to climb. Probably won't expect. The angle here from CA. He's going to go pretty quick here. I think he's just going to choose to save. It's going to be a little Ten bit of a smart left. idea here because tell you what, Trident spent all their money. Unfortunately, the investment did not pay off. Yeah, like, like I mentioned, it is so hard to deal with the amount of specters on the side if you have the correct angles. But the big thing that ended up paying off was huge amount of utility of JFT that was utilized to stop them from that in that choke point. Like there was trip wires, there was cages, second, there was peeps. smoke, I gotta visit there the was to play some uh, stars. snake bite. It's just almost absolutely Paint anything. Shell, showstopper. I mean, God, they they gave him everything except the the kitchen kitchen sink. <laughs> exactly. They threw everything at that. Uh, that spot there. It got four kills. Uh, obviously one early, so three, three kills in the end, and then Paul mm -hmm. Wally just has to try and live to fight another day. So very good round there from JFT. Did very well. That uh, one wage on Cypher is going to make. Can think about them going there again, but they're going to try it. 
Bit of a split push though from Trident. They've got two members looking towards that A site here to see if they can maybe sneak on site. I'll see a bit of motion towards A, maybe get them to rotate if they can hear it. But CEO and Lomo, they're wiser than that. They're not going to be uh, triggered to rotate too quickly. And Trident now, still with a slow push, trying to get onto this B site. Lomo already in position, but he's got a Spectre holding a very long angle. I don't feel like this should be the spot where he should be. He's going to get a little bit of engage. He sees one. He should know there's a second one coming very shortly because there's a lot of movement and noise being made over on that site. The rotation coming through the middle of the map. Dex is going to throw it. There's a chance to find a little bit of damage onto the opponents. So much smoke's down on the field. It's very hard to see anything at the moment as, well... Even the players must be having a little bit hard, but Sierra, he does find the first shot once the smoke does fall from Curse, so there's no more smoke that he's coming from first. Gonna be able to clear up. Once this clears up, Mazlin is coming on out, he's pushing, but he doesn't find the shots, which is very unfamiliar for him. Nor also gets a good kill. Next gets a kill. It is a clean sweep from JFT. As he called it, clean sweep, beautiful retake. As again, you know, obviously, you mentioned about that Spectre play, you know, playing out a little bit too far. It's some seriously good things. Uh, from a decent amount of way as well, but I think as we touched on, you know, for the whole part of this series as well, JFT don't mind giving up sight if it's been planned to give up a sight as well. They do well on their retakes, as we just saw then as well. It was cool, calm, calculated. Trident, you know what? Go for it, go for your life. You can have the sight, but we're going to make you go through a little bit of a punishment. Trying to get on there, take a bit of damage, utility expenditure as well. Um, and then the big knockout blow is going to come on our retake. We're going to get in there cleanly. Cut down the angles, swarm on, swarm onto the site as a team, uh, flush you out, get the kills, and defuse the spike, which they've been doing pretty well over the series. Go, go, go. Oh, the beautiful little concussion there, using that fault line and paint shells combination, almost able to find themselves a kill. But if it was anyone else, they would have. Mazon, have that speed boost, was able to retreat to safety. <laughs> he put it, he put it in six gear, and he bloody uh, flogged it. Yeah, now there, as we said, even touching that as well, we haven't seen too many combinations coming through um, from a lot of the, uh, the the teams today as well. Expecting a lot of Astra, maybe Rays as well to come together, even the Astra and the the Viper, you know, spit as well to get the suck coming in and also the punishment with that uh, snake bite as well. But not being utilised huge, but pretty good in that instance. And uh, all quiet here on the Western Front as we wait to see. The next uh, push is going to be here from Trident. They're going to start to get through their set play. Selling the fake here on A. It's doing pretty well. Everyone is running and hurrying through. Except now. Oh, so he's going to get taken down by C.O. and a dirty headshot there. As long as he seems to be too over aggressive right now. He's trying to open up the map. He's speeding around. It's just not working anymore. It's It once was creating so much space, but against JFT's defense, JFT are just able to stop this in his tracks. They're kind of not being phased by it too much. And whenever he does show himself, it's killed. So they've got his number. One enemy now remaining. he stays through on as well, first. Gonna get it coming through, but it still won't be time enough as well. Oh, the molly's not too bad, but it still Oops. might be enough time. Wrong Jeez, button. we'll go through for our has as a cameraman's having a bit of technical <laughs> issues. Oh, yeah. And that'll bring the defenders up to nine as well. So they take the lead finally in this map. Try to unfortunately let it slip away. Even just touching and what you said as well, DS as well. Also Mizzou in there as the uh, dual swirl create the space as well. But I think once you're onto that site as well, even pushing the smoke on Fracture as well with the tight angles as well. Most players sort of hide behind boxes, get ready for the retake like JFT do. Um, I think it's the second time CO's killed him pretty much just through the smoke. They're grabbing the, the angle as well he's not prepared for or looking for. Also, you know, it's, it's really intimidating trying to push a smoke mm -hmm. as well, trying to find out where that player is on the other side. So, unfortunately, Trident probably like Mizzou to play a little bit more less aggressive once they do get that sight. So, but I mean, JFT, punish it, be happy with it. Camera taken out.
Man, I really love using that camera to try and get knowledge before someone swings and it's just been working so efficiently they don't have to put a body on the line and then Vex can swing if they feel comfortable or confident that Trident is overstepping their bounds and again it's going to force Trident to go over to the B site and Sio is going to be the one to have to try and lock this down for Lomu and this time Lomu holding this angle has a weapon that can actually challenge <laughs> that angle so it's going to be a little bit better for him and Sio is going to be making sure that one, no one, one can... Shot, headshot's not going to kill that. <laughs> the only thing I'll say about the Phantom, it's good if you're not having a really on game, but if you can get those like one headshots as well and not get the reward for it for like one like 49. Oh, CO going huge there. He lines it up, takes down two, so his team will be happy with that to start the round. And try to start to execute on site here now. Smoke's going down, you two. 30 seconds left. As well. Clear nest up there, no one playing. Yeah, at the moment, Mizzou, as we said again, playing with that Spectre long range. You'd love to see it. A couple of tags coming through. Udium playing close here. Cage okay, coming through again. The retake from JFT. We see it time and time and again being so clean. What can try to do? Can they hold out? One for one trade here. Udium here in a good spot here. Unseen, unchecked. Through the smoke as well. Curse doing pretty well. Udium grabbing it up. Going to get traded through. And unfortunately, not enough time wasted again here for Trident. They will want to go again with that round. And JFT bring up round number 10. Three away from match point, series, and championship point. DS. As we look at the scoreboard here, JFT, that is seven rounds in a row here. It's not looking good for Trident here if they can't stop this momentum. Yeah, which is very hard yes. to do because JFT has stepped up the game. I don't know, it seems like Trident are starting to play a little there. bit disjointed, I think is the oh, word I want to use. One. Generally they've been playing so well together, but it, goes here. it seems like some players are trying to take the hero move. They're trying to take it onto their shoulders to be the man that can open it up and secure the victory for them. But they just need to play, be playing more of the same, more of the teamwork that they've been constantly showing, the executions, and kind of taking their time because they're trying to force the aggressive, and that they're forcing it too much. It's just not working out for them. This time they have the site. The Jeff T, you've mentioned it. They're happy to go for these retakes, and they've been doing a wonderful Fight job play. at it. Use there for Momo. Fire curse through the smoke. Five plays for here, we the JFT retakes here have been absolutely pivotal. Watch it for Trident here in the position. Has it been that great? Good delay coming through here, so we're seeing what you two are coming through. Holy good with the double with the showstopper. Two as well, the Emperor Palpatine hands coming through. The Spirit Fingers are good. 3k a lot. You two are being spent there, Wally. And now he as well coming through. And CEO as well coming through with the Astro Wall, so quite a few ultimates coming through, but, but the good news ultimately, is those ultimates they grabbed the uh, the rounds because it was beautifully timed. And I said they felt a bit go, disjointed. Go, go. That round was a lot different. They had the Rolling Thunder. They knew how there. they wanted to execute. Rolling Thunder there. went down. The jump coming on in from Wall. We find the two with the Showstopper. Mazon causing chaos in the back lines. That was a beautifully executed play and the teamwork that's kind of been missing from Trident in this half. Well, it's perfectly, perfectly said. I mean, obviously, Mizzou, you like to see him at the front lines doing pretty well, but uh, if you've got the util to be able to get on the side and clear it as well, it's great. And then Mizzou does a very good job of cleaning house as well, and he does get behind the enemy lines as well. They don't expect it. They expect him to be at the forefront tip of the spear. But, uh, I mean, it was... Gets your heart racing even more and starts the uh, the panic mode even more to get the duelist as well behind your flank lines cleaning house and you're thinking, oh god, there. we're all going to start dying to the flank behind as well compared to trying to focus on the retake onto a site. Another execute coming through here from Trident. We start to really focus their energy together and more doing so well in the cypher. It's just absolutely safer on you. Grabs what? another one for free through the smoke. That is a dirty bait. He wants a corpse. He's yelling for it by the remaining positions of these players camera yeah. being absolutely hectic can't story. get the tag but he's here yeah 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 so nor now playing a good spot will he get checked here by howie howie's got a good spot he finds one no he can't even find one and again the retake from jft is going to be huge coming through and unfortunately oh it's a little bit sfw hopefully the kids are all embedded it's 11 11 for me in adelaide if you're not seeing that <laughs> coming through from teammates but why not jft huge confidence 
one round away from forcing match point, series point, championship point. DS, how's it going to go? He tried it and needs to play it perfectly. Because it's getting towards the pointy end now. At the end of the match. I mean, Ooh. the last We're time we saw it there. in this location... <laughs> They pulled it into overtime and took the round. Uh, took overtime. They, so. they did. They did. They continued to go through like three more overtimes as well. Oh my god! So I definitely would not call Trident out. This is when they start to flourish. These long, extended, long-winded games, long-winded series. They're still here. They're not giving up at any stretch of the measure. Anyway, he wants to be that one to find that kill. I mentioned that there's some players that want to be heroes. But they have to be careful to not be a zero. But Mazon, it's not going to be the case, bro. He's going to get the one. He's going to get the two. And this is exactly what tried it need. That's it. The opening picks there as well. Obviously, if you're not in the flank C, you want Mazur the tip of the spear. Able to be done very, very well. Again, we're talking about the buddy systems and able to take the confidence to get it. Yudian, though, and Mazur, I'll tell you what, they go together like chicken and avocado. Your bangers and mash, your shake and bake. I tell you what, if there's anyone that's going to get them over the line, it would be Mizzou and Udium for the other team here. We're probably looking at Vex in CO. Even Noor as well on the off chance he's been playing well. I mean, probably, I would actually put Noor just above CO as well with him locking down this site here at A as Cypher as well. You know, the one way, the trips as well, the way he sets up with his camera. Absolutely fantastic. If you want to know how to play Cypher, Get the book out there, take some notes, been playing it superbly. 10 11 DS, I'd like we could see a mirror image, you know, try to come from behind as well. Maybe get towards that match point, can't convert it. JFT, get the 12 12. We go to overtime, I'm calling yeah, it. I don't know how any of these players are still going. I mean, I could just feel the cramps building up and just kind of the exhaustion. <laughs> bring in the no dose, bring in the V, the <laughs> rock star, the energy drinks, anything to keep these guys from keep on playing. I, I don't want to stop. Let's go on another map. This is fantastic. You're covering it. <laughs> I think uh, well, the rest of my household would probably kill me. <laughs> <laughs> what comes in? Are you done yet? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, Jesus. we got four, uh, sorry, three ultimates online for JFT and there's some big ultimates. They can really secure the point and the showstopper really open up the site if they can uh, just control their opponents a bit, which is exactly what they've been doing. They've been slowing their opponents down, bunching them up, and we've seen that showstopper once before we'll get a double kill. I wouldn't be surprised if we see it a second time. They're looking at jumping on in. Yours done a great job at walking down the site all by himself, but it looks a little bit sketchy this time. He's uh doesn't have a lot of left. support with him. I say that, they've uh, brought in some more support, so never mind, he's got all the help that he probably needs to defend this, and as soon as that smoke dissipates, it could be a problem. Oh no, the shot down, the show stop a beautiful oh, no. shot, and they come swinging on in from short, and now the swing comes from north, he's dead, this is open, Trident, I think they've found their opening. Right here. Ten seconds left. Hey, well, I'm not surprised so much compared to like JFT retake as well, but Trident play that so well, the timing. Mizzou hunting through, Lomo gets a kill, they're taking down 5 HP. Gonna need a miracle, gonna need an IOU from God to be able to win this round. As a firing squad to seeks to hold that angle as he picks through one here. Yeah, he's able to grab one for free, no he isn't cursed. Race swings where legs 11 for those that play bingo with their grandma on a Sunday. <laughs> and unfortunately JFT, you know, picks. I felt like he was gonna be the one with the showstopper to get it coming through, but they just came through squeaking and they said we're gonna shut that shit down didn't even get a second chance to say anything about it and vex will bring the time out as well to sort of steady the boat here for jft like we said it's it feels like it's been mirror image from some of the other maps as well and it has been going to overtime as well you know trident on that back foot here jft looking to secure the map win get it done go to bed happy to be here and win it and then trident just pulls something extra out of the hat they really focus their attention Get them to site better, um, execute it better, um, able to hold the site as well, um, and just find a way. They find a way to go to that next level um, to match it with JFT. And I'm just in awe. Like that that last round, the entry into the site there, where we even like praised if you want to learn how to play Cypher, you watch how, you know, Nor goes about his work um, setting up on that site as well. And they just, they didn't even notice he was there. They just said, put. So for, all right, this time we don't care. We're just going to go in and, and get it done. And they did. It's just crazy Valorant to watch here in cast. Absolutely. Like, now, 
coming into this round, you've got two ultimates. You've got Azu, one of the leading kill scorers in the game. With his ultimate, he's been so big here on Fraction with that ultimate, creating so much space and finding multiple kills, doing the damage for the rest of his team to clean up. So if you're afraid of anyone right now, it would be him. Your DM, well, with Water Force, the operators hasn't really been a huge impact on this stage. And there's a similar reason why Chamber's not picked up as commonly on here as a lot of the other stages is it's very hard to make a large impact, especially if you lose position on Fracture, because there's just so many angles and the speed coming in from and it's all falling them back to the point. The uh, flash comes out, slowing them down, but Curse gets a kill through the box anyway. But now Mazong is going to be pushing on forward. He's going to be looking to get some damage and he gets the first one. He looks for the second, he can't get it any further. How he moves on forward, he's going to get traded out eventually after kills. And all the ways are going to push him on point. The spike is going to be planted. They've got a few seconds left to get back on him, but AFT, it is their round. They need to try and pour it back. They've lost one more. That's two to five. He goes on down through the smoke. That is it. That point is now in favor of Trident, they are looking Match at taking point. the Grand Finals here and the Reverse Sweep! Oh my god, I can't believe that we are even contemplating a Reverse Sweep. This is absolutely unbelievable to see. I mean, even looking at the scoreboard now here, these players have been going for it for over like nearly four and a half hours now, DS, and I just... Absolutely in awe as well, these two teams going at it toe to toe. You want to play? Unfortunately, there's going to be a winner, there's going to be a loser, and we're here in the final round. How's it going to go? Defenders will bring out the Viper's ult, so B will be off limits, which only really leaves A unless they can find some real room and get in there as well. It's going to be a slow round to start with now, with everything to play for. Honestly, Trident have done pretty well in the past as well to secure the overtime. Especially on that Haven over time uh, to get it done. So they're probably not too phased, even if they do go to overtime. JFT probably a little bit nervous about getting there, but it will probably be relieved to get there that they don't lose at 13 11 after obviously that two uh, maps in a row that they won convincingly. So we'll, uh, we'll see how this plays out as it looks to be towards the A site here for Trident. And the last time we saw this push come from Trident, they were able to break the hold that JFT had been put on the side. The paint shots going out. They've seen Vex going through. And Vex are going to be killed from good communication coming from Trident to make sure to secure that kill. And good spray comes from North. Finds himself too. He's going to get on out of there. And now, it is an advantage for JFT. This is what they need to bring this into overtime. But Wally, he's in a very aggressive location. They're not going to be able to put this one out. If he swings, he could potentially find himself one. Potentially find two. The great utility be able to open that up for him. He finds himself one enemy that kill. Remaining. And now, it is all. Oh, Lomu, the hopes, the dreams, the grand finals, it goes up, he comes on down, he slam dunks it, and I that, my friends, in. means Trident has taken the grand finals of the Evolution Summer Cup Series. And this is where I go to the uh, castles and I take a sip out of my tea. <laughs> Finally, we're done. Clip it, ship it, holy. Be Jesus. Oh, wow, that I want to swear. I want to swear a lot right now because that was just <laughs> one of the classic. That's probably one of the. That's. I'm gonna put that there as number one as the number one series to cast ever in my series of like being a caster for Valorant. Um, I've got no words as well. Just to say, incredibly grateful to be able to you know actually make it after being delayed at work to actually be able to cast here as well. And also do. Dual cast with you as well, uh, DS has been absolutely fantastic. Um, Actually, been a while. I think the last time we cast it has it been, was early it's been 2021 huge, or something. Huge time. <laughs> I think it was too. Yeah, it's really good to like get back together and do the cast as well. And I tell you what, we picked a great one to come back to and do the duo cast on these two teams. Um, have showed the good stuff there with um, the OCE talent we've got here. Um, and holy amaze balls! What a series. What a series indeed, and thank you to everyone in chat for tuning on in, supporting the Oceanic region, supporting these two teams, and I hope you've enjoyed the series that we got to witness. Best of five, down to the line, you can't get any closer than that. It was unbelievable. We saw such fairy tactics, such weird swings in momentum of the games. It was a lot of fun. Uh, a huge shout out to everyone that wants to support this 
Uh, make sure to follow Scooper Steve on our every Twitch and Twitter. Follow me as well. Uh, this is what we love to do. We love bringing you this action from the LPL and other series that we do get on board to do. I hope you've all had a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. Huge congratulations to Trident and also a huge congratulations to JFT. They got this far through this year they got through regulations to get into the evolutions they've all both teams have played in the valorant oceanic tour um reaching top 32 and top 16 then we have our evolutions tournament there's been a ton of action these teams have been playing out of their minds so they both deserve the the places they've gotten so again thank you all stay safe stay healthy and well until next time that carries them has kept me astray too soon to act on it can we ever be that all depends on what you're feeling from me show you all the way let me show you all the that carries them